What's up you guys, Warnock Revolution here, back at you with another video, and we got a grab bag, some silver, retail, $52.75, what I paid, $41, let's see what, <laughs> if anything, that this is, um, hopefully got some good deals on, get some good stuff in here, I have no idea what's in this bag, all I know is that there's some silver in it, I got this from my local coin store. I've gotten one of these bags in the past and I put that up on the channel and I thought it was pretty good actually. Um, probably worth the money I paid for it so let's just see if this one's similar in price. I think I'm going to check out some eBay prices on these items so then I'll have a total at the end of what stuff's worth because I'm not really sure. But let's just open this up and see what we got in here. We got some staples and a brown paper bag. And I'm not going to look in it. I'm just going to grab random stuff. And hopefully we've got some good stuff in here. Alright. What is this? Looks like it says George Washington. And it's got George Washington's face on it. I have no idea what this is, guys. It's a nice red little box. Looks like it's a U.S. Mint something. Because it's got the emblem up there. Department of the of the treasury 1789 so 1982 George Washington commemorative half dollar is composed composed of 0 0.900 parts silver and 0 0.100 parts copper this is the first in the United States 90% silver coin to be minted since 1964 and the first comm commemorative coin to be produced by the United States mint since 1954 so that's cool 1982 George Washington commemorative and it's upside down in here or I'll just flip it around there we go it's stuck in here so I can't get it out wait I got it never mind never mind we got it United States of America in God we trust half dollar and that's actually Mount Vernon on there I've actually been there I went to the DC in the you know the DC area and I've actually walked through this house. It's a beautiful, beautiful house. George Washington's um, private estate that he had. Um, really, really awesome, beautiful house. I can't, you know, stress that enough. If you've never been there, you should definitely go. But uh, it says George Washington on this side. Liberty, 20, uh, 250th anniversary of birth, 18, or 1982. So that is awesome. That is really cool. And the scratches, I think, are on the case. It's not on the coin itself. But yeah, that is really cool. This like proof kind of finish on it. And Mount Vernon on the back. I really like this coin, actually. So that's a good find. I think I'll put the values somewhere on the screen when I edit this video later but I don't know what the value is now but that is a really cool coin I wasn't expecting that um, that is definitely some silver 90 percenter in here all right what is this we got United States constitutional constitution coins $21 on here let's see what this is whatever constitution coins look like I guess Got this nice, you know, U.S. mint box. Okay, it's a 1987 silver dollar. Let's pop it out. There we go. All right, I actually got one of these last grab bag. But this one looks in worse shape than the other one. It must be like some kind of crack in the case or something. Because it's not in the best of shape, but it's still silver. We the people on one side. And then we got um, $1 United States of America. It's just a really cool coin. I wish it was in uh, better condition. That is on the inside of the case on the coin itself, which is unfortunate. But I think, if I remember correctly, that's 80% silver. Let's look in this Certificate of Authenticity. Um, the 
the fineness of the silver, 90% silver, balance, and then copper. Focuses on quill pen and sheath of parchment in the words, we the people, and the back portrays a cross section of Americans from various periods of history. Very cool. Interesting. So another 90% silver dollar. We actually saw one of these last time, last grab bag that we had. So I'm curious to see what the value is, and I'll put the value on the screen now. I think the last box was in better shape, but it says $21 on there. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Okay, what else do we got in here? We got Northern Marina Islands. So some probably Philadelphia and Denver minted um, quarter, quarter dollars. And then there's some history on them. Pacific Island Territory, capital, flower, tree, bird, population in the year 2000. Memorable sites. It's kind of interesting. It's like a... I don't know where you'd get this from. Maybe the island itself. Maybe. Or it just came out sometime in that year. Two quarters. I'm going to say this is probably worth 50 cents. Um, I mean, the quarter is in really good shape. If you're missing this one from the 2009 collection, that would be a good one to put in your album. But, um, kind of interesting. U.S. minted quarter dollar. Interesting. What else we got? We got 50 states... 50 States Commemorative Quarters Gold Edition from 2008. We got one of these last time as well. It says $4 on there. You know, I could say it's probably worth $4. Probably looks like the same one we got last time. It's got this gold box. Alright, so I think the 2009 ones were cooler because those ones are harder to find. But these are just you know, the 2008 Commemorative Quarters Gold Edition. So that's cool. We've got Oklahoma, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, and New Mexico. Sweet. Probably all Philadelphia. Yep, they are. But cool. You know, I wasn't expecting this to be in here. But I like it. What else we got in here? We got United States Liberty Coins, and it's got one of these blue boxes. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, Ellis Island, Gateway to America, and God We Trust 1986. And then Liberty and God We Trust, 1986, again. Two coins in here, that's nice. How's the backside look on this one? That's pretty cool. United States of America. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. That is a very cool design. I like that uh, Liberty torch on there very cool and this one's in good shape better than that um, constitutional coin earlier it's still silver let's see what the other one looks like on the back side if I can get it out there we go So 1986, oh, and then the back side looks like this, United States of America, a nation of immigrants, that is the truth, sweet, like the way it looks for sure, so we're minted in San Francisco, there's a little S-bit mark right there, so that's cool, 
those back in the case. I kind of want to see if they're like 90% or something like that. Uh, 1986. I think they're 70%. What does this say? Just reading that real quick. I think, yeah, there's a paper in here that says it's a proof minted in San Francisco. Diameter, fineness. So yeah, 90% fine silver. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's put it back in the container. Nice. Is there anything else in the bag? Nope, doesn't look like it. But yeah, I'm gonna put the, so I paid $41 for this. They say the retail is $52.75. I'll put the um, final value of what I think this is worth like on the screen now. But yeah, pretty cool. Definitely like the, there's a large amount of silver in here. Like what, these are silver. All these are silver, so. Silver and a half dollar, and then constitutional coin, silver, and then this Washington coin. With I probably like this the most, George Washington, and then it's got Mount Vernon on there and everything. It's from 1982. I think that's really cool. Very, very cool. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you liked it. And comment down below your thoughts. And I will appreciate you and see you in the next video. Peace.